Hey there, this is me. I um, am going to go over your essay with you so you understand why you scored, what you scored. Um, I don't have my camera on because there's no real reason to. So here we go. Let's look at this. All right, well, first off, before I pull up your essay on that, this is your essay. You should be able to see it and see that I what I have highlighted and as I posted in the uh, on the announcements, uh, the highlights are all the errors. Okay, these are the errors that that you have going on. Each error is worth five points off the final paper. Okay, so there you go. Let's look at the paper itself. Right off the bat, the formatting is off. You have this pair, you have these lines in between paragraphs. Uh, that one's all right. Um, the work cited formatting itself is all off. Let's fix those. I don't know why you have all this space between um, somehow this stuff is not even like this area is not even. See how it is it's blank here. That means it's not consistent. Some parts are single, some parts are double. Um, let's do all of it. Okay, see this is this should be this should have a zero and this should be double. If it's all the same formatting, then those are filled in. As I've already gone over in several different lectures, I've gone over this. Last week, I specifically went over the fact that the title of your paper needs to be, if you're using the title of the book. It should be in italics, as um, all titles are. All right. Here. Here's one of your errors. Um, and back in week two, I went over punctuating quotation marks. If you have quotation marks, you, the punctuation goes inside, inside of it. This is incorrect. This is correct. Example two of incorrect. This is correct. So this should be oops, that. Uh, let's see. Such can be seen with simple comparison of the two mediums, such as this quote from the book. All right. This. This is a complete sentence. This is a complete sentence. Therefore, you got to have punctuation between it. You have, have a colon. Now, again, last week, I went over a live edit of some papers, and I discussed how to integrate quotes better than just saying, oh, look at this quote. So this is an error. You need to have a space between quotation mark and the parenthetical citation. That is an error. You have a random space between these paragraphs that should be deleted. That is an error. So that's an error. And then up here, when I had this, yeah, you know, this spacing issue between all of this, I had this highlighted. This was an error. Melted, melted down in regards to how. So that was just a word that was wrong. Um. You did it correct there. It's good. All right, here we have the themes and graders think questions like if this is how a perfect society would work, or if the presence of emotion is what causes suffering, pain, negativity, or does love somebody triumph overall? Existential philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche believes, okay, this should have a comma. And then because we go back to my PowerPoints. Um, 
quoting. Um, let's see. A lot of these, uh, we have a comma that comes um, after when, it, when a quote is introduced. Let's see. Okay, but here's the here's a main error. There's two errors. Okay, you you mentioned the author's name. Okay, you mentioned the author's name. But go back to week two, PowerPoint. When you mention the author's name, then you don't put them in the parenthetical citation. Where is that one? Uh, oh, here you go. Okay. Remember, I went over how if you state the person's name, then you don't put their name in the parenthetical citation. If you, if you don't state their name, then you do put their name in the parenthetical citation. But what you don't do is what you did, which is put their name in the sentence after you've already said the person's name. You said Nietzsche, and then you put Nietzsche here. That's an error. And then on top of that, you misspelled Nietzsche's part, part of his name. You misspelled his name as well. Okay, so that's a problem. Uh, here, we have a space, so there, there's an error for you. That's an error. I mean, it's, 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 it's right there. Gabriel is a capital B. Gabriel. So that's an error. Do you, uh, I've got Pause. A, I'm sorry. Uh, I've got Aisha's parents here, and they want to talk to you for a quick second. If you're not busy, oh. if you're in the middle of something, then... Well, let me just pause. Uh, Thank you so much. Sorry about that. I had some parents come in. All right, so that's an error. Um, and then right here, look, your work cited page is very problematic. All right, those are errors. That's that, that's all errors. This I've gone over several times how to format a work cited page, and this does not do it. Hey, shut that door for me. Before you come in. Um, the, it needs to have the hanging indent, not the top of it indented. All right, so that's an error. So there's multiple errors there. So let's just say two or three. And then you're missing three other sources. If we go here to SA3, three secondary sources and two primary sources, that's five sources. You only have two. So there's three sources there. So if we start counting these errors where uh, we had... Um, Formatting on the works cited page. We have missing three sources. Each of those is an error. So that's three, four, and then we go up here, five, six, seven, eight, <coughs> nine, 10, 11, 12, and then 13. So that's 13 errors, technically speaking. And 13 errors times five, because each one, as I've gone over several times, five points off, is 65 points off your essay. So that should be, that means that you should end up with a 35 on this essay. But I didn't give you a 35. Instead, what did you get? You got a 60. Okay. So that's pretty good. A 60 is much better than 35. So I'm sorry you're not happy with your grade, but that's why you received the grade that you did. All righty. Uh, thank you.